Today, when man has actually touched the moon, most of the ocean floor still remains to be explored. For the light tackle fishermen, an area only recently touched and still to be tested is Australia's 1,250 mile long Great Barrier Reef. With the changing tides, colors deepen and organisms come to life. For fish, the Great Barrier Reef is like a city. The reef is both protection and nourishment. And with such diversity, the fisherman cannot be certain of his catch until it is boated. Cairns, the northernmost city on Australia's east coast, is across from the midpoint of the Great Barrier Reef. We chose to set off for the reef 30 miles south of Cairns from the Mulgrave River. The Sequest is a 25-foot Bertram, shallow hulled to maneuver the river's channel, yet wide enough for stability in rough sea. Today on the first day of fishing, we thought we would set off for water inside the reef. This is Academy Award winner and ex-Navy man Ernest Borgnine's first time in Australian fishing water. He and American light tackle expert Al Fluger have joined the Sequest owner, Keith Richardson, who's at the helm. Now, Defend is where we're going, right? No, Defend is uh, on the main highway. We're going down to the Russell Hitch right now. Oh, I see. I see. What kind of fish do you have in this river? Well, we got the Barramundi. Barramundi, now that runs pretty good size, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, you'll get them up to 60 or 80 pounds. 60 or 80 pounds? Woo-hoo-hoo! That's a big one. How'd you like that? Man! That makes you want to go fishing, doesn't it? Oh, I tell you. I don't know about you, but I'm ready. Ha, <laughs> ha, <laughs> So am I. Well, there's the ocean. Yeah, there she is. Oh, you big ones, we're coming! <laughs> More light tackle in untouched fishing grounds after this word. Now this is still all part of the Great Barrier Reef, right, Keith? Yeah, that's right. This is one of the outer reefs here. This is Noggin Reef. Noggin Reef? That's right. Uh -huh. Look at the colors in that thing. Isn't that beautiful? There's, there's green and blues and grays and every other thing. It's just beautiful, just beautiful. I imagine it'd be pretty good fishing over here, wouldn't it? Yeah, we ought to get some good deep jigging here. Uh, how about let's give it a try, Keith? Oh, I think it'd be a good idea. Great. Right. Let's go give it a try. Yeah, let's give it a try. All right. Uh, fishing we will go. <laughs> it's like this is a hot spot, isn't it? Yeah, boy. What kind of lure are you going to use, uh, Al? I think I'll use this uh, two and a quarter ounce bucktail lure here. Uh -huh. It seems it's to be heavy about mine, the, right? Yeah, it seems to be about the right weight. We'll try yours and try mine, see which one works the best. What kind of a knot you put? This little figure eight knot here for uh -huh. this uh, steel on cable works very good for these lures. Uh -huh. And this uh -huh. is only light tackle, too. Yeah, using 15 pound here. Let's huh. uh, throw them over and give them a try. How about All that? right, let's go. Get out there and get them, baby! Man, I sure wish I was as handy with, as you are with that thing, but, well, practice makes perfect. Oh, right? yeah, we'll get plenty <laughs> of practice. That's pretty good, though. I thank you. Just work a little bit slower. We'll get over there on the edge in a minute. Hey! Hey, yeah, <laughs> hey that's a good one. Good fish. Oh, you got a fight on your hands now. Right? <laughs> Easy, doesn't it? I think you might have one of those jacks, uh, Charlie. <laughs> That's right, Ernie. Put the hurt on him. Oh, murder. Just hold Look down a second. I'll get him. What do we got? Nice big kingfish. Oh, nice one. Woo! Oh, boy. That's the way to do it, Ernie. Diggy, diggy. Watch them teeth now. <laughs> How about that? All right, sir. We keep him? Yeah, we'll keep All him. All right, we'll supper. keep him. <laughs> yeah, watch those teeth. Watch those teeth. Oh, man. They can really bite you. Let me get the pliers, right? All right. Put the gap down here. Yeah. Let me get them. There we go. Okay. 
Oh, he boy, well. he's a beaut, isn't he? What's he, in the shark family? No, this is a mackerel family. It's a Pacific kingfish. Uh-huh. You know, that's like that uh, hitting the last good golf ball. You know, he always brings you back that's, for more. That's a hole in one right there. <laughs> back we go. I get the feeling that we're actually in virgin territory. It hasn't been fished that much, really, has it? No, it hasn't. I guess there's not many fish that have seen some of these American-made lures, either. No. <laughs> Not much light tackle done here, mostly big game marlin fishing. And maybe we'll have a go at some we'll of these uh, too, huh? reef fish. Oh, oh baby. It's like Christmas presents, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's one of those coming up from the bottom. <laughs> here he comes, getting ready to break water. Oh, yeah. No, it's one of those uh, porgy type yeah. fish. Turning somersaults and all. You got it over, it, Ernie. Snag down to one case. Come on. Come on. How about that? Isn't he a pretty thing? Huh? Where they are. Yeah. You let him go, I am? Yeah. Whatever it is, pull him. You got a good grouper on there. I got a good grouper. Yeah. I got a good grouper. Go off a little bit, Keith. Oh, Keith, you go mother. off. He's going to get on the edge. That's a big grouper, Ernie. I can see him. Yeah, he looks like he weighs 15, 18 pounds. Good fish. Oh. Yeah, that's a nice one, Ernie. Oh, oh right look at here now. Look at the Back mouth on that bit, thing. Ernie. Now, he's frightening. <laughs> look there at that. There you go. Look at that. Holy fish. cow. Is a big one? That's the biggest fish I ever caught in my yeah. life. How do you do? <laughs> How that's do you one. do? Isn't that a beauty? That's a real catch on that light line. Really? How about that? It's almost mountainside. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Al. I appreciate that. What are we going to do with him? Keep him? Yeah, we might, might keep well, him huh? uh, for supper tonight. Oh, we'll take brother, look at that. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, he's got me. He's got oh, me. he's got me a good one. He's got me a good one here. Oh, yeah, you rascal. Yeah, can get you. Oh, you son of a gun. Huh. Let go. Let go, you rascal. <laughs> well, now that we're heading back in, I want to tell you I had a great day. <laughs> Just a marvelous day. All doing all that bottom fishing, or catching those grouper and the kingfish and all. That was great. Uh, Look, you fellas, you had a good day out there, but um, I was talking to uh, the captain of the Marlene, Ellen Collis, uh -huh. and uh, I've set it up for you to go out there tomorrow. What are we going to go after, Keith? Oh, we go, we'll go out in the deeper water after marlin and sailfish and that type of thing. On 12 and 20 pound tests? Yeah, that's a, <laughs> plenty you of us. Uh, 60, uh, 600 and 800 pounds out there if you want them. Murder. That'd be a real challenge, but uh, hope we hopefully get a little bit smaller one, maybe two or three hundred. <laughs> Even that would be a challenge yeah. on that kind of thing. Well, I say great. Let's go. Right. Marvelous. Stay tuned for more on the American Sportsman after this. The next day, they went beyond the reef with skipper Alan Collis. Boy, oh boy, another beautiful day, isn't it? Oh, it's a really beautiful day. So we sure had a great day yesterday. We were out there fishing. Anything they could possibly get with light tackle. What did you catch yesterday? No, oh, we, uh, we boated one small marlin, about 417 pounds on 80 pound test. I noticed we have some lines trolling the stern there uh, at this speed. What do we expect to catch? Small marlin and a sailfish or two, mackerel, any of the tuna family. Dolphin, Wahoo, Barracuda. You know, I was reading last night where there's really no set record 
I'm catching a marlin with light tackle. So who knows, we might set one today, huh? Well, there's always a chance. But uh, I believe that no one has caught any black marlin yet on uh, very light uh, tackle. You ever caught a little marlin, eh, black marlin? I've never caught a marlin, period. I've tried and tried all over the place, you know, but uh, I've never really caught one. And uh, I've had a few bites on me, but I've never caught one. So I'm looking forward to it. I really am. Well, today may be the day. Hot dog. What are we using, Al? 20 and 30 pounds, though, sir. Uh, Great. Yeah. Hey, look ahead, right behind us. Look at him. He's coming around. He's coming around. He's coming. Here he comes. Left one. He's got it. He's got it. You got plenty of line up there, ain't you? Turn to your right, Alan. Nice marlin. He's taking everything away. Oh, he's fighting pretty. On this 20-pound test line, I can't believe it. Looks like about 200. 200? Good fish. Right now, I'll even take a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> look at him, look at him, look at him. Look at him go. Mm. Oh, you got him. Don't fight him up anymore. Just <laughs> going around here in circles with this guy. Holy cow. Well, we're trying to muck him up. See, muck up his routine. Yeah. You have to swim in a straight line, he'll swim all day. But if you muck up his routine, yeah. he'll fly, you know. It's been a full hour since the strike. has raged now for close to two hours. He doesn't like it at all. No, he doesn't. He said, Ernie, what in the hurt of him? Oh. Come on up, baby. Boy, for every 10 feet he gets, I only get back two. <laughs> We're not winning at this rate. Yeah, but he's getting just as tired. There he is, there he is. Go on your boat, go ahead. Hey, come on the boat. Turn around. Swing sure. He's still on top. There he is over there, Alan. Yeah, I can see him. Take it with kid gloves. Hey, why take that wire? Keep the lock it down as far as you can without touching the gunnel. Back your drag off to about halfway. Careful that wire. Yeah, I know. I'll wire and you gap him, right? Okay, he's got the double on. Hi? Grab the wire, he's got the double. Grab the wire. That's all, that's all. That's all you have to do in that 20 pound. That's real skinny line for a fish the size you had on. A couple more minutes, we would have had them. 
Boy, you could just almost feel it, like somebody cut it with a knife. Yeah. Bing. Pow, that was it. She was gone. Yeah, that's all it takes, Ernie, just a little touch on that line. Uh, well, you did a fine job on it. You're on them two hours and ten minutes. Oh, my arms are just <laughs> tight. Oh, boy, talk about sore. You got to expect that with 20-pound test line. Oh, man. Well, you know something? In a way, I'm almost happy. He's quite a champ, that boy. Gave me a heck of a fight. Well, he <laughs> did. He, he put up a real good show. That'll bring me back again, I'll tell you. <laughs> Either for him or maybe even a bigger one. In fishing, the fights you never forget are the ones you lost.